This video shouldn't be a long video. It's pretty hard for me to get the lighting right in this room. But um, this is just an, a subject that's pretty important in my opinion right now. <clears throat> when a male, female, create a new life, okay? The female has her part, the egg. The male has his part. And the male deposits his part and once the the, the, the the sperm and the egg meet and they, they they conceive a baby after that nature does its job the, the female is not consciously growing that baby in fact uh, they don't even know they're pregnant until they start feeling you know, say, you know, maybe morning sickness or they feel something, they do a test. This process happens through the grand intelligence of the beauty and wonder of life, the grand intelligence. And it's so sacred. It's such a sacred time. One of my fondest uh, memories in my life, genuinely, was when Danielle was pregnant. I mean, when my wife was pregnant, it was just... I was just in such a happy place. But the, bring it up, the reason I bring this up is the father has a job. Sorry. His head's facing the wrong way. It's the father has a job to take care of this situation, this beautiful female and the baby that's grown inside. The female has a job to take care of the baby as well okay and so many people nowadays take this process for granted and what they do is <clears throat> you've got to remember that this baby is connected to the mum so if you're whatever you're in jest right the baby's having simple as that okay if you're having stimulants, coffees, uh, smoking, things like this, and not, maybe not so much these days, but the baby's getting that. You've got to remember that the second there's conception, baby's conceived, consciousness is there. And it's not just that consciousness, it's, it, it's, it's, it's had many, many lifetimes, okay? So... That, that level of consciousness in Buddhism they call store consciousness. Store consciousness. Okay. So everything even in the womb that you are thinking, speaking, feeling, the baby is, is having the same. I listened to a powerful podcast. I shared it a few times from a beautiful woman. Very, very powerful. But she says so many couples these days find out they're pregnant. The first thing they say, should we get rid of it? And this breaks my heart because the second that this beautiful baby comes into the world when it's tiny, the people that should love it the most, first thing they think of is should we kill it? Many people think that it's, the life doesn't start until it comes out, even though it's got a heartbeat, moves and all the rest of it. Another thing, so we, it's important that we celebrate this beautiful process and we, we do everything to take care of it while it's here. Another thing is so many people watch violent movies, people shooting each other, okay? The sound, not only that, you've got a Wi-Fi box now. No one watches DVDs anymore. So the Wi-Fi box is what's charging your TV. And not only that, they'll keep a phone in the pocket. Okay? There'll be an iPhone in the pocket. Let me tell you something about iPhones. When I went traveling around Australia in the bus, I had my iPhone in my pocket. 
My iPhone could, I could watch something on my phone. It's only an iPhone 7. I could watch something on my phone. My son could watch something on my computer uh, linked up to that. So this is a modem. The phone is just a modem. They could run off three, four devices if you're in, in, in an area with good signal. Once I was cleaning the solar panels on my bus and all of a sudden, say that's my leg. Say that's my leg, that's my thigh muscle like that. I had my phone in my pocket. All of a sudden, not just heat here, my whole leg, right? My whole thigh was burning hot, burning hot. I took my phone out of my pocket and my son had linked up to, the, to my phone, like the, 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 the mobile the hotspot Wi-Fi. And because of the, obviously, it causes the cells to, to um, to behave erratically, okay, right? So it makes them the frequency, it's an incoherent frequency. I'm telling you, my whole leg, not just where the phone was, my whole leg was red hot, it was the most hot, not nice experience, right? So then you've got the, the mums have got the phone in the pocket, sitting by a Wi Fi, watching the telly, <laughs> cooking the baby, right? Not only that, you get a new phone, you get another new phone, your data just goes through the cloud, okay? So all this information in the cloud, just turn your Wi-Fi off when you go to bed, all this information in the cloud, they can hit, with frequency and vibration, with electrical beings, they can hit the field with, with, with incoherent frequencies, anxiety, fear, anger, and what happens? It, it influences our thoughts because we're like antennas. So this is only one level. Another level is then we watch violent movies. What can the baby hear? Gunshots, people screaming, trauma, drama. What happens to the mum when she's watching these movies, scary movies? She gets afraid. Oh my gosh, what's gonna happen next? Baby feels that and all it's doing is planting seeds in the store consciousness. And when the baby comes out and starts watching the same movies in the same environment, all it's doing is watering. Watering can, is watering these seeds. And they grow and turn a beautiful baby into an anxious, depressed, and um, afraid uh, human in the world that contributes more psychic pollution which manifests as more physical pollution, violence, anything like that. So it's very important when we look at something like this, we nurture the baby, okay? Then we're watching the news, mate, non-stop. Non-stop COVID, 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 bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Fear, fear, drama, drama, drama. Okay? Then we have poor food choices. You know, we, we eat glyphosate. Glyphosate, fluoride in the water. It so breaks my heart how these kids even even make it through. And this is why, so, you know, then we hit them with injections. Soon as they come out, they get it with a, a vaccine, non multiple vaccines. If we are fortunate enough Thank God I've had the experience of being a father. And thank God for my wife being the best mother in the world. And my son is a reflection of that. He's such a beautiful boy. And I'm not just saying it because he's my son. He's a beautiful human being. This is the most sacred experience a male and female, in my opinion, can experience in life. This is the spiritual journey. That is creating a life and then helping shape that life to be a, uh, a, a human being that's going to contribute to the world in a beneficial way is the most special, sacred, divine experience we can experience. And I think we take it so for granted that a video like this might just be a little bit of a slap in the face to wake us up to really take care of these beautiful beings. I've got friends in Port Macquarie, Lauren and Corey, and they've got four beautiful kids. 
and um, you know I don't know whether they've changed their views that right now I don't necessarily agree with what they said back then but they were saying that the, the world is overpopulated right they might have different views now but back then they believed that and they said if the world's overpopulated I think the world's underpopulated I'll be honest with you uh, but that's another video if the world's overpopulated uh, and we've brought four kids into the world she said back then to me she said there's a beautiful family they are she said I uh, I, 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 I didn't want to bring more consumers into the world I wanted to bring four humans that can save that can make a difference in the world and they're doing a great job doing that they're a beautiful family so that's a beautiful mindset and intention to have when you when you're creating and helping to uh, form a human's life because guess what this might sound terrible and people might take this the wrong way our kids don't belong to us they're not ours okay they belong to the to life to the universe but they come into the world through us there's a spiritual reason for that so our job is to nurture them love them support them protect them yeah uh, and, and and keep them like a flower don't 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 close them off and, and put our shit on them. Keep them open-minded. Um, so yeah, I just I really needed to just get a little video out like this. So if it if it works, please share it. If not, no problem. Love you all.